Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial in Video Studio Pro X7. So today's video is actually a requested video and the person who requested it would like to know how they can review some performance videos using Coral Video Studio. Something like when the video is playing I can hold the video on a certain frame for a longer time than usual, make some marks and then resume the video. So there is one way I know of doing this and that is by using the snapshot function. So. I've got my video here in the timeline. It's a tractor and trailer during harvest. So I'll just play that for you. And uh, you'll see that it's just a tractor and trailer just basically driving into a farmyard. And what I'm gonna do is about here, about there, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna annotate the video. So what you need to do is get the slider, get it to the position where you want it to stop, where you want the video to pause Mine's at the right point now, but if it's not, you could just slide it like this. Um, and then press cut. You then need to go into the first video clip. I'll just zo zoom in here, just to make it easier to see. And then you need to press this button here. This goes to the end of the segment. So you now see the slider is here. Then go to edit and press take a snapshot you'll then see in the library a snapshot appears. Drag that in between your two clips. Now I've got auto transition switched on, so it's actually added two transitions. Um, but to get rid of that, just shift this one along, shift that one along, and it will just remove them. Otherwise you can go into settings and turn that off. Right, so now when I play this again, you should see that the tractor will come in, the video will stop or pause, and then it will resume. Right, so that's all working well. I'm now going to add two very, very easy and simple annotations. They're just going to say tractor and trailer, just to keep it simple for the sake of this tutorial. So, tractor obviously goes on top of the tractor. And I'll just copy that and um, insert a new title track. Just copy that, paste it below and we can then put trailer in as well. Okay, <clears throat> we've got tractor and trailer now. Uh, I'm just gonna fine tune these so that they stay within this video clip, photo clip. And uh, obviously if you want a longer pause, just get that clip, drag it like you normally would, and that extends it. Shorten it the same way, and that's how you would change the pause length. Okay. So just make sure you've got some kind of annotation on these, otherwise they'll just appear. So apply, I'm gonna put a fade on, and a cross fade, and they'll be long. The same with this one. Apply, and that's all done. Now, I press play, and they should, the video should pause, they should fade in, then fade out, and then the video should resume. Okay. So that's all there is to it. That is how I do my um, video pauses to annotate over the top. So hopefully that's helped you. Hopefully that's helped everyone. I thought I would just comp just make this video because if I'm going to make it and tell someone how to do something, I might as well just show everyone because it's just so much easier than typing in the comment section. So if I've missed something out, just comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. If there's anything else you need help with, also comment below and I'll try and make a video as soon as possible. Or I will just reply to your comment depending on how simple it is. So yep, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in tomorrow night's tutorial. See you later.